Hi friends, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I'm out and about and I've got a day off in Scotland. So we're gonna go on a little trip to hopefully find some falls to have a little dip in a plunge pool. Let's get on and see what we can find. To the Falls of Falloch to have a look at the water apart from the fact it'll be a waterfall and there's lots of stuff going on and I'm fascinated by the pattern of water I thought I'd come and look and see if there's a possibility of a swim but I'm not going to take any ridiculous risks um, and I'll be taking a look at the water I'll, I'll lead you through how I decide whether or not to get in because um, I think it's always interesting to see how people make a decision but it sounds fun let's get and have a look uh, so the coat might be looking a little bit extreme but because I flew up I didn't really have any space to put extras in so this is the only waterproof coat I have with me. Um, when I turned up there was one car leaving the car park but then just so I was getting my stuff together another car turned up with young people who were also thinking about going for a swim so that's pretty cool. But won't be swimming in that bit just there. No. Um, and I've just seen another thing turn up. I think it's quite a um, a popular local spot for tourists. I don't know so much about swimming, um, but it'll be interesting to see. I've read a little bit about it, and I've seen a few pictures, so I'm interested to uh, to get a bit of a close up. Just gonna have a look. I'm not exactly togged up for a day in the Highlands. I've got my slip-on Skechers on um, because my work wellies are in the car and they've got even less grip. Um, and obviously I've got an offshore jacket on, so I might be getting a bit warm, but I'll thread my way through these woods and get somewhere near the water. Here's an example of some water I wouldn't get into much as it might look a little bit like a flume, all that boiling water means that there's, it's aerated so you have no flotation in there and you sink like a stone. But also these rocks and stuff, that's going to be a bumpy ride and uh, I wouldn't even want to do it at this level in a kayak either. What we're looking for is smoother water but without a fast flow on it, perhaps an eddy or something. Let's see what we can spot. So an eddy is a calm piece of water often caused, I guess if you think about it, if, you're, if you come outside of a building on a windy day and you step to one side, uh, you, you're kind of in the shade of the building where the wind isn't getting to. Well that's the same for the water running past rocks and other features. Behind them you get an area of calm water where there's not much going on and the flow is reduced. So eddies are uh, either good ways of getting out or perhaps ni a nice place to bob about <laughs> and observe. Who I really am in the wrong footwear here. <laughs> oh, I can see a big fall. Over there in the distance. I'm not sure if you can pick it up yet. Let's get a bit closer. Oh, stodgy. Just like a mountain goat, I got past the really stodgy bit without getting too covered. 
Oh wow, this is looking good. There is water everywhere. Little stream here. Running into the river. But just you wait till you spot what's around the corner. I've had a glimpse and it looks epic. How you get to it to get in is a different question. Woohoo, look at that. a punch ball so looking at it I'd be happy to be in that water because there's not a huge tow back from underneath the waterfall with the water recirculating back to it and to be honest getting in and swimming towards it probably the power of the water coming down is going to stop me from getting right underneath unless I could scoot in along that side um, but the big question is, how do I get in without jumping? I'm not keen on jumping, as you'll know. Uh, no. Hmm. This is a bit of a conundrum. How do people get in? I'm going to have a little scout around and see, see what's what. But I'm not going to put myself at risk. I've come down from the rocks I was on up here, down to here. So I reckon that the roof in for me is either a little scuffle down this bit, hop across a little stream and then clamber over to that bit to get into the deeper part to have a little swim around. Um, or I could get in in this eddy here, swim across to there, same thing, scooch along. I don't fancy my chances too much against pushing against the flow coming over the rocks at this entrance where uh, this young lady is. Um, I'm pleased to have found, found another group here. James is a keen swimmer and uh, he's leading his group to get in. Um, and yeah, I think the essence for me is in order to be able to get into that big plunge ball for a dip, I don't want to spend all the time in the water wading and struggling to get across to then get in for two seconds and go, oh, I've got to get out, it's cold. It will be cold. No two ways about it. It's been raining and um, we're in Scotland. <laughs> so time to get changed and then give it a go. Right then, all tugged up, ready to go. I've got my little mermaid shoes on with the grips. So it might help. We'll see how we go. A uh, bit of a scramble down first. I am like a grandmother picking my way around here. Slow and gentle wins the race. It's quite good, the water is pretty chilly. Oh. Right, time to take it on with these brave souls. <laughs> oh, one right at the top there, look at this. Here we go. Very confident. quite a lot of flow just here so we're gonna to have to make quite an effort to get there. Yeah, I bet he's making way now so that's good. Yeah the head dunked over the top eh? So a bit of drama because the water pushes round. Let's see what we can do. It is chilly, don't get me wrong. And I can feel the pull of the water going right. So to try and get near it, actually I'm going to give up a second and float back to where it came from.
jacuzzi seat here. I'm trying to get across, but I think it's a losing game. but I don't want to get too cold and um, I'll go and have a good look at it from the top instead because that is a sight to behold. I just can't get enough of this place so I'm going to take a little walk around the corner and hopefully find the view spot that people have told me about. I don't know if it's going to look any better than it does here. Let's go and have a look. Being at a great height on the mountain we sate down and heard, as if from the heart of the earth, the sound of the torrents ascending out of the long hollow glen. To the eye, all was motionless, a perfect stillness. The noise of the water did not appear to come this way or that, from any particular quarter. It was everywhere, almost. One might say, as if exhaled through the whole surface of the green earth. Glen Fayak, Coleridge has since told me signifies the hidden veil but William says if we were to name it from our recollections of that time we should call it the veil of awful sound Dorothy Wordsworth 1803 I'm not that sure that I agree with Dorothy that roaring sound is so alive I could sit here forever and listen to it Lucky I'm not Dorothy. What better thing to do with my extra hour on the top change day than come and find somewhere so beautiful. I'm so thrilled I got up to do this. And uh, I think it's only just about uh, 10 o'clock, maybe 11 o'clock. Maybe time for a bit of coffee and cake somewhere. I'm going to stop by a pub and see if I can get a bit of cake and a cup of tea. That would be the best result at the moment because I'm a bit chilly and wouldn't mind a bit of cake. Cake's always good after a swim. Sadly, I didn't manage to get my cake because the pub was definitely not selling anything other than a sausage sandwich or a bacon sandwich between 10.30 and 11.30, so it was just not happening. So I've had to beetle my way on down to the airport instead and uh, settle for a drink, which, because the flight was called earlier than I expected, I've had to woof down. So fingers crossed I don't burp on camera. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have you'll drop me a comment and let me know whether you're going to take part in Blue Tonic's Awaken Your Blue Mind Winter Challenge. I'll drop the comments the um, description in the description below as to how to get onto it but it's only five quid to join, ten quid if you're abroad and um, there's loads and loads of ideas. You have to do 21 challenges between the clocks changing um, out of a choice of what over 60 there's loads of ideas to get outside and active go on join us anyway if you're enjoying the content please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on my face ding the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out i've got to catch a flight see you next time <laughs>